Live from our seven Tasmania studios, your nightly news with Kim Miller begins now. Good evening, everyone. First tonight, Tasmania has closed the door on Perth and surrounding areas following a single case of COVID-19 there. In the past hour, passengers arriving into Hobart on a flight from Perth have been screened. It's likely some will be whisked away to hotel quarantine. Tasmanians have also been warned not to fly to the Western Australian capital as it embarks on a five-day lockdown. As thousands queued for coronavirus tests in Perth, Mark McGowan emerged with the magic number. No new local cases of COVID-19. The city embarking on the first full day of lockdown expected to last until Friday. It was sparked by a UK strain of COVID-19 detected from a quarantine hotel guard. Western Australia's Premier acknowledging lives will be disrupted. But if we can all work together and do the right thing over the next few days, we will increase our chances of crushing the virus once again. The full scale of that cooperation clear from the sky. Police are also preparing for an investigation into how the case emerged. It is not a criminal investigation, but we must know what went on. We must get to the bottom of what happened. Tasmanian authorities responded swiftly on Sunday night, declaring Perth, Peel and South West regions high risk. Anyone intending to travel to Tasmania who has been in any of these high-risk areas in the 14 days prior to arrival will not be permitted to enter Tasmania. Returning residents will need to self-isolate at home. All others will be sent to hotel quarantine or told to take a return flight. In the past week, 789 passengers have arrived here from Perth. Uh, they have all been contacted. Um, and public health will be working uh, with them. If you identify that you attended one of the 17 risk locations identified by WA health authorities at the specified time, please immediately self-isolate. The situation ending a milestone moment. On Saturday, Tasmania finally had no travel restrictions. It didn't even last a day. Sean McComish, 7 Tasmania News. Labor has reshuffled its shadow cabinet as it gears up for the next state election. Sarah Lovell will take on the child protection portfolio, while Bastian Seidel has been promoted to health. I've been in health for over 25 years. I've been a GP in the Huon Valley for over a decade. I've been a clinical professor. I've been the national president of the Royal Australian College of GPs. As an opposition, we have no more important responsibility than to ensure that Tasmania as a state is doing everything it can to protect our most vulnerable children who are in the care of the state. Premier Peter Gutwin insists the election won't be held until next year. Another $100,000 will be tipped into Tasmania's bid to become a hydrogen hotspot. An alliance of manufacturers is now leading the development of the proposal in Bell Bay. What this will do is set up uh, the opportunity for small business, contractors, suppliers to provide the technology, the resources, the jobs that are required to build Bell Bay into a renewable hydrogen hub. The Commonwealth has already thrown in the same amount of money for exploring options in the area. Well, a downsized Royal Hobart Regatta is now only days away with operators starting to set up for the popular event. The pandemic hasn't stopped the regatta, which is now in its 183rd year, but to strict crowd limits will be imposed. We have an hour between each session to do a deep clean and yeah, a lot more cleaning and everything like that. There's sanitizer at every ride, um, every game. 900 tickets will be allocated across each session during the regatta to meet COVID compliance. The three-day draw card begins on the weekend. As many parents prepare to send their children to school for the first time, it will be an even more exciting moment for one Tasmanian family. Five-year-old Eden Byrne was born with severe hearing loss, but years of intensive training has her primed for the big day. Eden Byrne has the confidence, independence and attitude of almost every five-year-old. i got a bag and a car. But with one slight difference. She was actually profoundly deaf in both of her ears. The impairment has meant she's needed to wear cochlear implants since she was eight months old. Even her sister was forced to adapt how she communicated. 
I've learned sign language, but I can only remember one thing. But tomorrow, Eden will take the same plunge as most her age, her first day of prep. To actually have her getting ready to go to big school five days a week, it's just a really big achievement for her and we're all so happy for her. And the bags are packed, uniform ironed, and the excitement to learn is palpable. B for baby. Yeah, that's right, B for baby. The watershed moment is the culmination of years of intensive online audio classes through the Shepherd Centre. Once they can listen well, then they can use that to develop their understanding of language and then they can go on to speak. Now the five-year-old has grasped the full spectrum of sounds. From A's to E's to O's. And in a little over 12 hours, her parents are confident she'll be ready to make her mark in the classroom. We know that she has been able to um, develop friendships and be clearly heard. Garth Burley, 7 Tasmania News. School is back this week and that means one thing for drivers, slow down to 40. An RACT bus will hit the streets in Hobart in the coming days with a message hard to miss. We know that at 40 kilometres, uh, someone who is hit by a vehicle is more likely to survive. The lower the speed limit, the less trauma that is caused to an individual. 30 children have been injured in school zones across Tasmania over the past five years. It's no secret, it's the people that make a place great and Tasmania has won an award for just that. The island state has been rated the third most friendly destination in the world on Booking.com's top 10 most welcoming regions on earth for 2021. A county in Taiwan took out the top spot, followed by a region in Slovakia. A Tasmanian organisation is hoping to capitalise on the hugely popular podcast trend in an effort to open up important conversations about mental health. Headspace in Launceston has produced six episodes of Psych Out, which shares stories and strategies to help young people find balance. It allows young people to hear a lot of the messages that they would hear if they were seeing a counsellor or a mental health professional. Getting help is a really hard thing um, and I think this is something that you can do individually uh, to gain a bit more knowledge and experience. The podcast is now available online. One of the key spearheads in Tasmania's push for an AFL licence has made a stunning prediction. Speaking on Melbourne Radio, Tasmania's AFL Task Force Chairman Brett Godfrey believes the state's grassroots footy future could be grim. If something isn't done this season and the Tasmanian government keeps its word and walks away from these contracts, you know, AFL has a chance to become... It will become a dark sport in, in Tasmania. And, um, and I, I think that's terribly sad. The multi-million dollar deals with North Melbourne and Hawthorne expire at the end of this season. After hitting the ground running, Race Tasmania organisers are looking to quickly lock in next year's event. The inaugural feature sold out all 5,000 tickets at Simmons Plains and the 2,500 allocated for Baskerville. Drivers have given the Southern Circuit the thumbs up after many race there for the first time. And all those guys that had never driven there, and I've driven to Bathurst, I mean, they all came to me and said, what about that circuit? How good is that Baskerville? And it is. Organisers are hoping to secure 2022's event featuring both tracks within two months. Good evening, Campania and Bushy Park. Tied at the top today with 26 degrees. Hobart 25, Launceston and Burnley 22 and Devonport 19. Grove 25 degrees today, Flinders Island 23, Friendly Beaches 21, St Helens 20, Smithton 19, King Island and Low Head 18 degrees and Strawn 17. A few isolated showers from that cloud today, mostly over the north and east. St Patrick's Head, east of St Mary's, the best fall with 10 millimetres. That large cloud band extended over Victoria, there is deep convective cloud over northwest WA as another band pushes to the south of South Australia. The active monsoon trough has thunderstorms over the north. Tomorrow a ridge of high pressure stretches our way, a cold front in its way right over the state. That low off Western Australia is expected to morph into a tropical cyclone. West to south westerly winds at 15 to 25 knots. They'll tend southwest to south easterly at 10 to 20 knots during the afternoon. Swells to three and a half metres. Hobart, a partly cloudy 20 tomorrow, 18 the top for Adventure Bay, cloudy for Taralea, 15 the maximum. Launceston, 25 and mostly sunny, 22 the top for Devonport, a shower or two for Bridport, 21 degrees. 22 for Burnie, a sunny day, cloudy for Strawn and 18, 18 the top also for Marawar. 
St Helens mostly sunny and 20, 21 for Swansea, partly cloudy on Flinders Island, white mark 21 degrees. UV on a slight dip but still very high at 10. On Wednesday, fine and partly cloudy apart from a shower over the east and Flinders Island. Another shower expected over the east on Thursday and possibly Hobart. And on Friday, showers over the north, possibly heavy in the afternoon and evening. Showers developing over the south during the day as well. Sunny and 37 in Perth, partly cloudy for Adelaide and Melbourne. A morning storm in Sydney, showers for Brisbane, a rainy 29 in Darwin. Cloudy in Hobart, 19. Partly cloudy in Launceston, it's 20. And partly cloudy in Devonport, currently 19 degrees. We'll keep an eye on this weather for the rest of the week because big regatta weekend coming up in Hobart and also Derby Day Friday night and Hobart Cup on Sunday. The weather forecast isn't that great at the moment. We're setting our sights on clearing that up. And Kim, great to see you and Tom Johnson back. I know you requested to stay away from me a bit longer, but for you, life wasn't meant to be easy. It's not easy working with you, let's just say, Murph.